are witnessing the awakening of a giant in northern British Columbia. In the northeast, enormous deposits of coal needed by the world. Between the coal and tidewater on the northwest coast, a thousand kilometers of rugged terrain a railroad will cross. At tidewater, near the city of Prince Rupert, a new superport to serve the Pacific Rim. This is the Northeast Coal Project, the greatest resource development ever undertaken in British Columbia, the awakening of a giant. Hundreds of millions of years ago, long before the Rockies folded into existence, the land was a vast, humid swamp, heavily forested, rotting and regenerating for millennia. The remains of that era, pressured by time and geology, have formed a resource the dimensions of which are staggering. River area in the Peace River coal block is about 8.3 billion tons of coal. That is enough coal to run the entire steel mills of the world for about 300 years. The decision to develop Northeast coal, the product of intense creative management, years of planning set in motion the most ambitious resource development in BC's history. The effects, economic and social, would echo throughout the province, throughout Canada, now and forever. To initiate the development and make it viable, Negotiations were held between the Japanese steel industry, mining companies, and the BC government. Denison Mines and Tech Corporation committed to invest a billion dollars to establish the first two mines. The uh, Quintet Mine, of which Denison Mines of Canada has the largest uh, portion, is the largest coal mine in the world. force began to swell. Some 40 construction camps were operating. Come late 1983, a trickle of coal will begin leaving, soon to become a torrent of 8 million tons a year and growing. Far from the mine sites, a new town begins to take shape in what was virgin wilderness. The town of Tumbler Ridge is originally being built to house a population of 10,000 people. It's designed to house a population of 10,000 people. There should be about 3,500 people living in Tumbler Ridge by the summer of 1983. The community of Tumbler Ridge is an independent self-governing town like any other in British Columbia. The payroll from the mines will pump prosperity through its social fabric. Very soon now, the first residents will arrive along new highways. Hydro has been installed. The first lots have been sold. The first homes are about to be built.
The sale of Northeast Coal to the Japanese is the catalyst to develop a new northern transportation link. That northern transportation link includes a new port at Prince Rupert, upgrading the Canadian National Railway from Prince George to Prince Rupert, a new branch line on the British Columbia Railway from Tumber Ridge to Anzac, the development of a new town site, the development of new highways. This infrastructure will be totally paid for by the first two coal contracts. $400 million to upgrade the Canadian National Line. $450 million more to construct the BC Rail Link from the existing line at Anzac through the Rockies, 129 kilometers to the mines. 11 new bridges being built. Two world-scale tunnels, one six, the other nine kilometers long. Economic benefits of all this work ripple out into all corners of the province as individuals and companies fulfill the many contracts involved. The new BC Rail Spur Line will be electrified to cut costs and avoid reliance on expensive diesel fuel. The immense tonnages of coal will diversify the railway's freight base and guarantee it economic stability. A thousand kilometers west of the mines, the railway terminates near the city of Prince Rupert. The city of Prince Rupert has had the dream of becoming a major port on the west coast of Canada since 1910. Through the catalyst of Northeast Coal, this is now happening. Ridley Island lies some 30 kilometers south of Prince Rupert, a rocky promontory until recently covered with muskeg and brush. Today, we find Canada's second Pacific superport taking shape. Already, a grain terminal under construction. A facility for petrochemical exports is planned. The future holds promise of other minerals, fertilizer, industrial products, all resulting from the catalyst effect of Northeast Coal. The amount of coal that will be moved through the port of Prince Rupert each day is 200 car trains, each car carrying 100 tons of coal. So you're looking at approximately 20,000 tons of coal per day going through the port of Prince Rupert. The fact that all this is happening now during a recession is even more astonishing. Literally thousands are employed. During the development of the Total Northeast project in the summer of 1982, there will be approximately 5,000 people employed. That is about 10% of the total construction force in, in, in British Columbia. When the mines are fully operational, there will be about another 1,500 employed directly in the mining of the coal and about another 5,000 in indirect jobs. And if you take the support services, you're looking about jobs created by the Northeast development. Once the coal mines are open and the mine and the coal is rolling, uh, of approximately 15,000 people. The largest mining development in BC history. The largest export contract ever signed in Canada. 
we are witnessing the investment of some two and a half billion dollars in the most original, most beneficial partnership between private industry and government on record. Even more astounding, this awakening of northern British Columbia comes courtesy of the Japanese steel industry. The Japanese steel industry recognizes additional costs of opening up uh, this remote area and the costs of additional infrastructure are paying the coal companies an, ad uh, an additional ten dollars a ton bonus for the development of the Northeast coal. Prince Rupert will become what people have promised and dreamt about for a long time. Canada's second major entry onto the Pacific Ocean and the Pacific Rim. There are estimated to be about 10 billion tons of high quality coal reserves in that area. The infrastructure will be in place uh, to permit the, uh, the sale or the exploitation of all of those reserves of coal and will be a very, very significant uh, factor in the future development of Northeast BC. We have seen it happen before history placed infrastructure through southeastern BC. World events created markets for the coal. With mining in the southeast has come an immense industry, opportunities, thriving communities, a huge contribution to the way of life enjoyed by British Columbians. Now, for the first time, shipping schedules in Japan are being programmed to include the coal port of Prince Rupert. The flow of Northeast coal will become a flood of resources for Japan and the markets of the world, vital revenue and jobs for British Columbia. The northern half of British Columbia is open for business. The giant has awakened.